Hello, Virginia History Day students, teachers, family members, and supporters, and welcome to the Virginia History Day State Contest Award Ceremony. My name is Sam Floor, and I'm the Virginia History Day Coordinator here at the Virginia Museum of History and Culture in Richmond, Virginia. Congratulations! Every single student who qualified for this contest should be immensely proud of themselves. You've all spent countless hours researching, writing, creating, and editing these amazing projects, and it certainly shows. I think it's an understatement of the year to say that these past few months have been challenging. However, that makes your achievements even more impressive. No matter the outcome of the awards, take pride in your work ethic and love of history. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you because I know it's full of great things. Now, I want everyone to give a huge thank you to the teachers that make this program possible. Our educators have been under tremendous stresses this year and we can't thank them enough for all that they do. We also need to recognize the over 80 judges who volunteered many hours to provide feedback to all the students. I can attest that they put incredible passion and care into their comments. So remember them when reviewing your evaluation sheets. Lastly, this program wouldn't be possible without the strong support of dozens of institutions, our district partners, and individuals across the state. So join me in a big thank you. Now, we're going to hear a short message of support from special Virginia History Day guests, United States Senator Tim Kaine and National History Day Executive Director, Dr. Kathy Gorn. Hey everybody, Senator Tim Kaine here. I want to congratulate in each and every one of you on your presentations for Virginia History Day. I'm proud of you and I hope you're proud of yourselves for taking the time to participate in this program on top of all your other schoolwork. I understand you've all prepared presentations that deal with the history of communication and how we exchange information. It's so critical for folks to have an understanding of the importance of communication, especially today when there's so many different ways to communicate. I applaud all of you for helping more people develop better communication skills and the understanding of those skills with the research that you've done. You've all spent weeks researching, writing, editing, and then creating these projects. And I'm proud uh, about to see how impressive your works are in this way. I'm glad I got to speak with you just briefly today and to help celebrate your accomplishments. Congratulations on your important work. Happy History Day, everybody. And congratulations to all of the students who completed projects for Virginia History Day this year. What a year it has been. A pandemic, crazy weather, and moments that will go down in history. So I am especially pleased to congratulate you on your hard work and your research that you put into your projects related to this year's theme, Communication in History, the Key to Understanding. Now my staff here at National History Day and I know what it takes to put on an event like this. So I want to extend a big thank you to all of the teachers, judges, parents, volunteers, staff, and of course, your NHD coordinator, Sam Florer, for helping to make Virginia History Day happen. Now, whether or not you're advancing to the national contest in June, be sure to review the judges' comments carefully and keep them in mind as you improve your projects and as you start to think about what topics you'll work on next year. And speaking of next year, the renovations for your Virginia Museum of History and Culture will be finished by spring of 2022, just in time for next year's contest. And I hope I'll get to see you there in person. In the meantime, good luck, congratulations, and happy History Day, everybody. Thank you, Senator Kane and Dr. Gorn for those inspiring words. Now, on to the part you've all been waiting for, the awards. We're gonna begin with winners of this year's student activity contests and special awards. To start off, we have the winners from our state level Virginia History Day sticker design contest. Congratulations, we have two winners this year, Caroline Heil from John Randolph Tucker High and Coraline Bond from Blacksburg New School. Both of your stickers will be printed and included in every student's participation packet that's sent out after the contest. 
We also have results from our Virginia History Day local history field trip contest. Thank you to all students who sent in submissions. I learned a lot about local history, and I'm so excited that you're excited about cool places in your neighborhood. But our winner is Julian Lim from Mary G. Porter Traditional. She sent in a submission about the Barnes House, a historic site located in her neighborhood of Montclair, Virginia. Congratulations. Moving on to our Brenton S. Halsey Teaching Excellence Award. This award is given to a Virginia public, private, or homeschool educator who teaches history and participates in Virginia History Day. The winning teacher will receive $500. Our uh, Brenton S. Halsey Teaching Excellence Award nominees this year are from District 1, Jenna Holland, from District 3, Ann Hayslip, from District 4, Amanda Conway, from District 5, Stephanie Shimp, from District 6, Andrew Ebiunis, and from District 8, Catherine Snow. And this year's award winner is from District 3, Ann Hayslip, from Blacksburg New School. Congratulations, Ann. We now have our Virginia History Day Cup winner. Virginia History Day Cup is given to a school based off participation throughout the year and how well that school students does do at district and state level contests. And this year's Virginia History Day Cup winner is Haycock Elementary, located in Fairfax, Virginia. Congratulations to teacher Jill Schull and to all of your students. Jill, I'll be in contact soon about how to receive your Virginia History Day Cup trophy. We're now moving on to the Betsy S. Barton History Day Scholarship. The Betsy S. Barton History Day Scholarship honors a high school junior or senior who is a passionate advocate for history education and who is deeply committed to including all voices in our shared historical narrative. For Betsy, teaching history was an involving exercise in teaching humanity and tolerance, of forging connections across time and space. She inspired and impacted a generation of young people and educators alike as an enthusiastic steward of history education. This $1,000 scholarship will be given to the Virginia History Day Project in any individual category that best represents the spirit of how Betsy taught and thought about history. And the winner of the Betsy Barton History Day Scholarship for 2021 is First Bull Run, The Messaging Power of a Battle by Rachel Hawker, Pennsylvania Homeschoolers AP Online. Congratulations. We now have the 2021 A.E. Dick Howard Prize in Virginia Constitutional History. 2021 marks the 50th, 50th anniversary of the adoption of the current Constitution of Virginia. To celebrate this mi milestone, the John Marshall Center for Constitutional History and Civics offers a $1,000 prize to an entry in the junior or senior division that demonstrates superior understanding of Virginia's constitu constitutional tradition and how the rights and duties of citizens or of government have changed over time. This award is given in honor of A.E. Dick Howard, Professor of Law at the University of Virginia, former member of the John Marshall Center's board, and executive director of Virginia's Commission on Constitutional Revision. And this year's A.E. Dick Howard Prize in Virginia Constitutional History is Headlines and Bloodlines, the Role of Media in Inspiring and Infuriating America into Action by Rithika Bagavatulu and Jordan Krajewski, Maggie L. Walker Governor School and James River High. We now have the Bobby Chandler Senior Project Award. This award recognizes a senior division project that demonstrates distinction in historical research and scholarship. The $750 award made possible through the Kip Kephart Foundation is given to a project that is creative, uses original primary source material, and demonstrates a knowledge and understanding of some facet of Virginia's past. Special consideration will be given to projects that connect local history to a statewide, nationwide, or worldwide topic. And this year's Bobby Chandler Senior Project Award winner is A Voice on the Inside, Nellie Bly's Mental Asylum Exposé by Kendall Brown and Valerie Noto, Staunton High School. Good afternoon. My name is Steve Rula, and I'm the president of the Kip Kephart Foundation. And it's my honor to present you today with the Bobby Chandler Senior Project Award from the Virginia Historical Society. I know you've put lots of work in this, and your excellence shows your work has been judged and awarded, and I'm only too pleased to give you this award, as well as the $750 check that goes along with it. My best to you. We now have the Ann R. Worrell Junior Project Award. 
This award recognizes a junior division project that demonstrates distinction in historical research and scholarship. This $500 award is given to a project that is creative, uses original primary source materials, and demonstrates a knowledge and understanding of some facet of Virginia's past. Special consideration will be given to projects that connect local history to a statewide, nationwide, or worldwide topic. And this year's and our World Junior Project Award winner is Once Upon a Time, Communicating Morals to Kids Through Fairy Tales by Ashna Kapoor, Magnolia Homeschool. Congratulations. We now have the Encyclopedia Virginia Elementary Project Award. This award recognizes an elementary division that demonstrates distinction in historical research and scholarship related to Virginia history. The $250 award is given to a project that is creative, uses original primary source materials, and demonstrates a knowledge and understanding of some facet of Virginia's past. Special consideration will be given to projects that connect local history to statewide, nationwide, or a worldwide topic. And this year's elementary project award winner is Jack Jewett's Ride, A Secret Message by Horseback by Porter Boyles, Betty Weaver Elementary. We now have the VMHC Women's History Award. The role of women in history has often been overlooked. To honor the importance of this field, the VMHC will present an award to both a junior and senior division entry that demonstrates superior research and scholarship related to the contribution, accomplishments, experiences, or perspectives of women in history. Each winning project will receive a $200 prize. And this year's Women's History Award winners are, in the junior division, the Women's Suffrage Movement, Using Communication to Fight for Equal Rights, by Ryla Inatsky and Anna Foe, Haycock Elementary. And in the senior division, the winner is Ms. Bringing Feminism into the Mainstream, by Grace Steele, Liberty High. Congrats! We now have the MCV Foundation Medical History Prize. The work of scientists, physicians, and nurses in the field of medicine has profoundly shaped the world we live in today. A deeper understanding of the human body and diseases has increased lifespans and led to a more complete comprehension of our environment. To honor the importance of this field, the MCV Foundation will present an award to both a junior and senior division entry that demonstrates superior research and scholarship related to medical history. Each winning project will receive a $200 prize. I'm Margaret Ann Bollmeyer, President and CEO of MCV Foundation. Our mission is to inspire and steward philanthropy for our partners on the MCV campus, VCU Health, VCU Health Sciences, and Massey Cancer Center. People have been traveling to our campus for 175 years to learn the art and science of medicine. So we know a thing or two about history and how important it is. Congratulations on your research and your scholarship to all the participants of Virginia History Day. You inspire us. And the winner of this year's MCV Foundation Medical History Prize is, in the junior division, Marie Curie by Shania Kamal and Nina Wolf, George Washington Middle. And in the senior division, Latin American Education, Mental Health Language Barrier Issues by Neon Kim, McLean High. Congrats. We now have the VMHC Sports History Award. For centuries, sports have played an important role in the formation of human culture and development of society. In recognition of this important subject matter, the VMHC will present an award to both a junior and senior division entry that demonstrates superior research and scholarship related to a sporting event, team, or athlete. Each winning project will receive a $200 prize. And this year's winners are, we actually have uh, no eligible projects in the senior division, so we will be awarding two junior division projects uh, this award. So our first award winner is Riding to Liberation, the Bicycle as a Tool for Women's Rights by Tess Larson, Blacksburg New School. And our other winner is Travis Freeman by Alyssa Justice and Sophia Lehman, Swift Creek Middle. Congrats. We now have the MacArthur Memorial Prize. The General Douglas MacArthur Foundation will present two awards, one each for the junior and senior divisions. The awards will be given to outstanding entries that focus on some aspect of World War I, World War II, the occupation of Japan, or the Korean War, all events in which General MacArthur participated. The junior and senior division winner will receive a $100 prize. All winners will also receive a MacArthur Commemorative Medallion. 
Hello, my name is Amanda Williams and I represent the MacArthur Memorial in Norfolk, Virginia. The MacArthur Memorial tells the story of General Douglas MacArthur and that of the millions of men and women who served with him. Congratulations to all of the Virginia History Day participants. It's quite an accomplishment to reach this stage of the competition. And so students, teachers, parents, keep up the great work. And the winners of this year's MacArthur Memorial Prize are in the junior division, Reaching Audiences Through Cartoons, Walt Disney's Animation by Lillian Hood, Haycock Elementary. And in the senior division, the Zimmerman Telegram, Cross-Border Communications That Changed the Tide of World War I by Joanne Lynn, Maggie L. Walker, Governor School. We now have the National Maritime Historical Society Award. The National Maritime Historical Society seeks to inform all Americans, young and old alike, of the rich maritime heritage of our country and its importance, not only in the past, but most importantly to the future of the nation. This award is given in both the junior and senior divisions to projects focused on the maritime time heritage of the country. First place in both divisions includes a $100 prize for each project, as well as a one-year membership in the National Maritime Historical Society and a subscription to see history for each participant and their mentoring teacher. Second place in both divisions will receive a $50 prize, as well as a one-year membership and a subscription to see history for each participant and their mentoring teacher. Hello, students. All of us here at the National Maritime Historical Society congratulate you on this year's National History Day. The Society is the national voice of our maritime heritage, and our mission is to promote and protect the art, literature, adventure, lore, and learning of the sea. We publish Sea History Magazine and have a comprehensive website and index for research at www.seahistory.org. We help support National History Day by offering students cash prizes, award certificates, membership in the society, and a national platform to recognize exceptional projects on a maritime topic. We encourage you to delve into our important maritime heritage and find out more about our National History Day awards at seahistory.org slash NHD. Congratulations on your participation in the contest and good luck in the competition. And the winners of this year's National Maritime Historical Society Award are in the junior division, second place, Submarine Communications, War Under the Waves by Samantha Braden and William Roach, William Monroe Middle. Junior division, first place, The Lusitania Disaster from Public Outcry to Declaration of War by Audrey Lee, Haycock Elementary. And in the senior division, second place, Navajo Code Talkers by Evan Jennings, Midlothian History Day Club. And senior division first place, how communication between sailors and their families has changed since World War II by Carolyn Heil, John Randolph Tucker High. Congrats to everybody. We're now moving on to the George C. Marshall Award in Diplomacy. The George C. Marshall International Center will present an award to both a junior and senior division entry that focuses on diplomacy. In honor of Secretary of State George C. Marshall, entries should demonstrate how effective diplomacy at any time in history combines selflessness and integrity with national interests, all principles for which Marshall stood. The winning entry in each division will receive $100 and a family pass to visit George C. Marshall's historic home in Leesburg, Virginia. My name is Rachel Thompson, and I'm the Marshall historian at the George C. Marshall International Center which is at the site of Marshall's Museum home in Leesburg, Virginia. We honor the leadership and the lasting legacy of this important soldier and statesman from the mid 20th century. And one thing that characterized Marshall was that he valued the idea of learning from our history. And further, even when he had completed his formal education, he was a lifelong learner, and he would be so impressed with the effort you are making to broaden your knowledge, the knowledge of your history, and to learn from that history. So thank you. Thank you for studying. Thank you for applying the discipline and concentration to complete these ambitious projects. Each and every one of you can feel quite proud of your accomplishments. 
And the winners of this year's George C. Marshall Award in Diplomacy are In the Junior Division, From Enemies to Friends, The Story of Russian Interpreters During the Cold War by Eve Hawkins, Loudoun Country Day School. And in the Senior Division, American Diplomacy Over Soviet Arms, How Kissinger Asserted U.S. Leadership Through Diplomacy During the Post-October War Negotiations by Hans Bai, St. Anne's Belfield School. Congrats! We now have the John Marshall Center Prize for Political History and Civics. Colonial Virginians established the first elected legislative body in America in 1619, and the Commonwealth ratified 10 amendments to the Constitution in 1791, giving the United States its Bill of Rights. To highlight this legacy, the John Marshall Center for Constitutional History and Civics will present an award to both a junior and senior division entry that demonstrates superior understanding of the rights and duties of citizens, how government works, or why it has changed over time at the local, state, or federal level. Each winning project will receive a $200 prize. Hi, I'm Caroline Legro, Director of Education and Programs at the John Marshall Center for Constitutional History and Civics. Here at the Center, we honor the judicial legacy of John Marshall by educating and engaging the public about the rule of law under the Constitution, and by bringing conversation, civics, and scholarship to our classrooms and communities. On behalf of myself and the entire John Marshall Center, we'd like to offer a hearty congratulations to every single one of you Virginia History Day students. You should be incredibly proud of your achievements and of getting to this stage in the competition. And the winners of this year's John Marshall Center Prize for Political History and Civics are in the Junior Division, Watergate, the Use of Investigative Journalism in Communication and Reporting by Samhita Song, Haycock Elementary. And in the Senior Division, Protest Music as Communication by Ella Williams, Fredericksburg Academy. We now have the Naval Order of the United States Award in Naval History. The Naval Order of the United States' charge is to encourage and research uh, writing on naval and maritime subjects, including the Marine Corps and United States Coast Guard, and to promote the preservation of historic artifacts and memories of our naval and maritime history. The Naval Order will present an award $200 prize to a senior division entry and a $100 prize to a junior division entry that best explores naval history and related maritime subjects. And this year's winners are in the junior division, Communicating Through Cell Walls, The Secret Correspondence of American POWs in Vietnam by Caroline Bruton and Kayla Schaller, William Monroe Middle. And in the senior division, Miscommunication, Yellow Journalism, The USS Maine, and the Spanish-American War by Rola Suleiman and Jennifer Zhang, Grafton High. We now have the Association for the Study of African American Life and Histories, uh, Richmond Chapter African American History Prize. The Richmond Chapter of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, or ASALA, will present an award to the project that best demonstrates, researches, preserves, interprets, or disseminates information about Black life, history, or culture in the global community. The winner in the senior division will receive a $100 prize, and the winner in the junior division will receive a $75 prize. Hello, my name is Michelle Evans Oliver, and I am the president of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History here in Richmond, Virginia. Founded by Dr. Carter G. Woodson in 1915, he is also known as the father of Black History Month in February. Asala's mission is to promote, research, preserve, interpret, and disseminate information about Black life, history, and culture to the global and local community. Congratulations to all Virginia History Day participants on your outstanding achievement. You have worked hard to achieve the success thus far and in this competition. Be proud of yourself, keep up the motivation, and continue your hard work. Asala Richmond wishes you the very best. And the winners of this year's Asala Richmond African American History Prize are in the Junior Division, Malcolm X, A Change of Perspective by Ahmad Cutcut, Blacksburg Middle. And in the Senior Division, A Journey to Freedom, Writer's Perspective by Lauren Fisher, Fredericksburg Academy. We now have the George Washington Leadership Award. Presented by George Washington's Mount Vernon, this $500 prize will be awarded to outstanding projects in both the junior and senior divisions that demonstrate an understanding of the lasting impact of George Washington's leadership 
in both American and world history. Special consideration will be given to projects that use innovative and compelling ways to showcase how Washington's legacy of personal, political, and military leadership had a lasting impact on people and moments in history. Hi, I'm Sadie Troy from George Washington's Mount Vernon. Throughout his 40 years of public service, George Washington inspired people through his leadership actions. By actively participating in National History Day during such a challenging year, you all have inspired your homes, your schools, and your communities. I hope you are as proud of that work as I am. Congratulations on another great year of History Day. And the winners of this year's George Washington Leadership Award are in the Junior Division, Washington's Farewell Address, The Letter That Shaped the Nation, by Sepper Aga, Blacksburg News School. And in the Senior Division, Diplomacy at Its Finest, The Power of Words During the Cl Cuban Missile Crisis, by Rishi Naval and Asha Ashka Shah, Maggie L. Walker Governor's School. And our final special award is the Mary Bicaveris Award in Virginia History. The Mary Bicaveris Award in Virginia History is given by her friends in honor of her many years of service to students and teachers in Hampton City Public Schools, in Hampton Roads Academy, and as a professor of education at Christopher Newport University. She believed that the most important job in the world was teaching, and her love of democracy was her teaching trademark. The Mary Bicaveris Award in Virginia History will be presented to both a junior and senior division entry focused on any aspect of Virginia history. Each student participant responsible for the projects will receive $50. And this year's Mary Bicaveris Award in Virginia History's winners are in the Junior Division, Street Smarts, Shaping the Children Who Will Shape the Future by Emily Paul, Blacksburg News School. And in the Senior Division, A Mon Monumental Difference by Simon Deweese Hanna, Fredericksburg Academy. Congratulations to all. Congratulations, Special Award winners. Now, on to the main event, Category Award winners. As a reminder, first and second place projects will advance the NHD National Contest, except for students in grades 4 and 5 who unfortunately are not supported at Nationals. Third place projects will serve as alternates and will advance to the Nationals if one of the top two projects is unable to compete. I will be in touch with all the National Contest qualifiers shortly after the ceremony ends. To begin, we have Junior Group Documentary. In third place, the Women's Suffrage Movement, Using Communication to Fight for Equal Rights, by Anna Foe and Riley Anatsky, Haycock Elementary. In second place, the 6888 Central Postal Directory Battalion, by Sarah Szerzak, Amalia Kashap, and Veronica Vitko, Mortimer Y. Sutherland Middle. And in first place, Communicating Through Cell Walls, The Secret Correspondence of American POWs in Vietnam by Kayla Schaller and Caroline Bruton, William Monroe Middle. For a senior group documentary, we have in third place, Headlines and Bloodlines, The Role of Media in Inspiring and Infuriating America into Action by Rathika Bagavutulu and Jordan Krajewski, Maggie L. Walker, Governor School and James River High. In second place, we have Navajo Weaving, a Generational Message of Spirit and Dedication by Natasha Dakuna and Carolyn Nguyen, John Randolph Tucker High. And in first place, The Secret Language of Flowers by Caroline Berg and Georgia Berg, Grafton High. Congratulations, everybody. We're now moving on to Junior Individual Documentary. And in third place, we have The Golden Record, B-Side, Humanity's Message by Oz Trost, Blacksburg Middle School. In second place, The Wings of War by Julia Ware, George Washington Middle. And in first place, Navajo Code, The Unbreakable Code by Makund Mari, William Monroe Middle. We now have Senior Individual Documentary. In third place, First Bull Run, The Messaging Power of a Battle by Rachel Hawker, Pennsylvania Homeschoolers AP Online. And in second place, Protest Music as Communication by Ella Williams, Fredericksburg Academy. And in first place, The Emotional and Political Messages in Classical Music Composition During World War II by Serena Sarah, West Springfield High. Now moving on to Junior Group Exhibit. And third place, A Silence Full of Sounds, America's Perception of the Deaf by Kristen Deutsch and Molly Hughes, St. John Newman Academy. 
in second place, Alone and a Long Way to Run, by Isaiah Myers and Sam Reese, George Washington Middle. And in first place, Navajo Code Talkers, The Power of Communication, by Aaron Lynn and Stephen Lynn, Haycock Elementary. Congratulations! We're now moving on to Senior Group Exhibit. In third place, Power to the People, The Music of 1960s and 70s Suffrage by Eleanor Maloney and Soren Tremble, West Springfield High. In second place, Alexander Hamilton, A Revolutionary Transforming the World with Every Pinstroke by Anastasia Goy and Riley Sakata, West Springfield High. And in first place, The Fight for Freedom, A Look into the 1989 Tiananmen Square Protests by Kaylee Nguyen and Jasmine Trainer hawk West Springfield High. Congrats, everybody. We're now moving on to Elementary Individual Exhibit, and in second place, How the Printing Press Affected Global Health, by Isaac Grover, Tidewater Collegiate Academy. And in first place, Jack Jewett's Ride, A Secret Message by Horseback, by Porter Boyles, Betty Weaver Elementary. In Junior Individual Exhibit, we have in third place, Men, Their Rights and Nothing More, Women, Their Right and Nothing Less, by Hannah Carroll, William Monroe Middle. In second place, The Lusitania Disaster, From Public Outcry to Declaration of War, by Audrey Lee, Haycock Elementary. And in first place, Norman Borlaug, Actions Over Weighing Words and Agricultural Communication, by Sung Hee Ju, Haycock Elementary. Congrats, everybody. And for senior individual exhibits, we have in third place, A Day Without Women, by Rachel Dexter, West Springfield High. In second place, Say Cheese, How Lewis Hine Used Cameras to Shine a Light Upon Life's Dark Corners by Carly Fung, John Randolph Tucker High. And in first place, A Monumental Difference by Simon DeWeese Hanna, Fredericksburg Academy. Congrats, everybody. We now have Senior Group Performance. And in first place, Why We're Here, 9-11 and the Lessons We Learned by Aiden Gibson, Gio Mazio, and Sagar Murthy, Douglas S. Freeman High. For junior individual performance, we have in third place, Words of Wisdom, How Connecting Through Speech Can Help Mental Illness by Jack Emmett, Blacksburg New School. In second place, Better Off Dead, Baby Bollinger by Kaylee Tabor, Bedford Middle. And in first place, Once Upon a Time, Communicating Morals to Kids Through Fairy Tales by Ashna Kapoor, Magnolia Home School. Congrats, everybody. In senior individual performance, we have in third place, Mary Jean Phillips, how One Woman Modernized Deaf Education and Language by Lillian Clark, Western Albemarle High. In second place, Communication Through the Underground Railroad by Nikki Kumar, Maggie L. Walker Governor School. And in first place, A Journey to Freedom, Writer's Perspective by Lauren Fisher, Fredericksburg Academy. We now have Junior Group Website. And in third place, Josephine St. Pierre Ruffin, Activist, Advocate, Communicator by Betty Bond and Coraline Bond, Blacksburg New School. In second place, Marie Curie by Shania Kamal and Nina Wolf, George Washington Middle. And in first place, The Beautiful City to the Ugly Truth, The Tragic Story of the Toxic Love Canal and Its Mystifying Communication by Simge Gerdineri, Angel Martin, and Mahider Mengistu, Francis C. Hammond Middle. Senior Group Website. In third place, Diplomacy at its Finest, The Power of Words During the Cuban Missile Crisis by Rishi Naval and Ashka Shah, Maggie L. Walker Governor School. In second place, The Story of Walter Gadsden, How One Miscommunication Changed the Course of the Civil Rights Movement by Sagar Gupta and Sahil Gupta, Thomas Jefferson High for Science and Technology. And in first place, A Voice on the Inside, Nellie Bly's Mental Asylum Exposé by Kendall Brown and Valerie Noto, Staunton High School. We now have Junior Individual Website, in third place, on Protracted War, a Speech that Inspired and Redefined, by Sean Fu, Mortimer Y. Sutherland Middle. In second place, Devil Dog Canines, a Line of Communication in World War II, by Julian Lim, Mary G. Porter Traditional. And in first place, The Charge of the Light Brigade, A Gallant Mistake, by Min Nguyen, Blacksburg Middle. Congrats, everybody. Moving on to Senior Individual Website. In third place, Latin American Education, Mental Health and Language Barrier Issues by Nayon Kim, McLean High. Second place, The Zimmerman Telegram, Cross-Border Communications that Changed the Tide of World War I by Joanne Lynn, Maggie L. Walker Governor School. And in first place, A Mother's Grief, Communicating Accountability for Hate Crimes by Zara Trail, World Community Education Center.
Congrats. We now have Junior Paper in third place, Street Smarts, Shaping the Children Who Will Shape the Future by Emily Paul Blacksburg New School. In second place, we have Riding to Liberation, The Bicycle as a Tool for Women's Rights by Tess Larson, Blacksburg New School. And in first place, Watergate, The Use of Investigative Journalism in Communication and Reporting by Samhita Som, Haycock Elementary. And last but certainly not least, we have Senior Paper. In third place, American Diplomacy over Soviet Arms, How Kissinger Asserted U.S. Leadership Through Diplomacy During the Post-October War Negotiations by Hans Bai, St. Anne Belfield School. In second place, we have Artistic Expression, Communication Through Painting During the Romantic Era by Dana Johansson, Fredericksburg Academy. And in first place, The Negative Impact of the Press on the Women's Suffrage Movement in the United States by Naomi Scully Bristol. Woodson High. Again, congratulations to everyone. Over the next few weeks, all participating students will receive a mailed packet with a certificate of participation, uh, stickers, and a Virginia History Day button. The top three finishers will also receive a medal. Special award winners, be on the lookout for an email from me regarding payment details. Finally, national contest qualifiers should watch their inboxes for two emails one from the ZFAIRS registration system, and one from me with additional instructions. If you do not receive any emails by Thursday, please reach out directly to me. Now, thank you to everyone who made this program possible. And as always, happy History Day.